There's a little town in a little valley with a little renaissance fair. And that fair is filled with scandal! What ho! <laughs> what a hidey hidey ho! What a hidey hidey hey! What a who got the lee, who got the lee, who got the lee hey! Thou doth swing! Aye! Welcome, my lords and ladies, to the improvised Renaissance Fair based improvised show! Thank you. This is an audience participation show, so we want you to participate. When you see a hero, we want you to cheer. When we see a villain, we want you to boo. So let's practice, shall we? First of all, imagine me a hero. <laughs> Excellent. Now a villain. <laughs> Very good. Now a lovely lady. <laughs> and now a kitten. God, the more you drink, the funnier we get. <laughs> We're gonna be freaking hilarious, apparently. Awesome! All right, are you ready for a show? Yes. I say, you ready for a show? Yeah. Then let's give a big huzzah and start fair. One, two, three, huzzah! <laughs> ah, my lords and ladies, the fair is full of heroes and villains. And one of the scariest villains seems to be the Black Knight! Ooh. Ooh. The trusty mace! Things I've clubbed with it! Knights! Drunk people! A baby! And a pregnant girl! She was totally underage, she was cool! Yeah! Alright then! Huzzah! What a ye olde douchebag! Aye, but he did once call a young squire friend, but no longer, for they did battle and he did embarrass him and then make out with his mom and then kind of find out he was gay. It's what? Woo! I was gonna say I'm gay, but you already said that. You? Yeah. Oh, I'm gay. <laughs> Don't make me laugh in my microphone. Aye, but who was the woman he did make out with? Who is the mother of the Black Knight? Well, by the breaking booze, it's Kathy Jean Bone! Ooh! Suck it easy, Renfair! Suck it! <laughs> she's regretting some unfortunate career and vocational choices she's made. <laughs> Speaking of regretting choices, as you know, if you break character at the Renaissance Fair, you'll be fired. And a young man who's played Juliet for far too long broke character and admitted he was a boy. It's Humphrey Hubert! Don't really know why I'm still wearing the dress. <laughs> <laughs> but someone who very much knows why she's wearing a dress is young Margaret Bestgams, who has just discovered love. Historically accurate, a man who once was before he fell in love with a girl who believed in fairies is Domini Domineo! <laughs> I'm not familiar with your douche, for I live in the Renaissance. I used to be cunning, but now I am conniving. Aye, <laughs> 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 and there's someone else who's conniving. Finding out that the Black Knight was really his son by way of Kathy Jean Bone, and now wanting to reconcile things with him while still wanting to become king of the fair, it's Duke Alaric Dragonheart! Mm. Yes, I don't know how to greet him 
either. He could be a hero, he could be a villain. Let's just sort of accept him as he is. Good people, I know that thou thinks that Kathy Jean Bone doth be a bitch, but I am afraid that I am still in love with her. Oh. And of course, lay everyone else on the black shirts! Representing the corporate aspects of the fair is Randy Travis from Multicorp. <laughs> I'm here. How y'all doing? Any of you fans of reality TV like uh, Undercover Boss? <laughs> Good. Meet Randall Parker III, CEO of Multicorp. I've bet the entire company's future on these renaissance fairs because I hear they're supposed to be cash cows. So far all I see is a bunch of idiots. So I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Either we're going to make money, or I'm selling the whole thing to Halliburton. So now, who's ready for a turkey leg, huh? <laughs> Huzzah! Huzzah! And now, we take you to the morning meeting of the Renaissance Fair, where excitement is running high, and many people are worried about what's going to happen. I just want everyone to know that up until last week it was okay to gay bash, but now that i become gay, it's not okay. I will file a- <laughs> oh! Jesus Christ! I was gonna fight for you. <laughs> I was gonna help you become king. Why? <laughs> now you're gonna tell me you're my dad? I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna be king. Watch me. I'm gonna do everything against you. I'm gonna fight. Ah! Are we supposed to be in character for these morning meetings now? Uh, I should never break character at a run fair. Shut, Shut up. up. This is all your fault. Oh, my fault. That's it's all you your fault. fault. I told him to stay away from you. you yeah, that's right, you did. You told him to stay away from me, and now look what happened. You guys, this is a morning meeting, not a you meeting. You know what? You should shut up. Ah! So close, please. And you. Not telling me he's my dad and hiding it from me? I have my reasons. Clearly you have anger issues. Okay, what you're doing you two? is like literally gay bashing. Shut up! <laughs> you there, you guys are both going down. Uh, horn guy tapped my feet. All right, hey everybody, welcome to the morning meeting. That's all, all right, all right, good, good. All right, uh, well, it's uh, week seven of the Renaissance Fair. It's very exciting. Um, as some of you may know, uh, Comic-Con is going on right now. Oh, oh my no. god! No, it's going to be so dead! I know, as you know, uh, up to 90% of our weekly uh, patronage are hardcore uh, geeks and uh, fantasy heads who are right now in San Diego uh, dressed as uh, Kitty Pride and uh, painted green for the, like the chick from Star Trek. Yeah. But uh, there are a lot of nerds who cannot afford a ticket, and they are going to be here. Right. Uh, yeah. So all right. Uh huh. Uh, and also, uh, there are some Civil War reenactors uh, that are just going to use the jousting field uh, for the afternoon. So don't don't be freaked out if somebody has a, a musket, <laughs> a boomstick. It's going to be uh, great. Um, Right. As we have discussed, if you break character, you will be fired, as unfortunately happened last week to young Juliet. Oh, young what? Juliet was released oh, no. from oh, her contract. Really? Yes, yes indeed, yes, Minnie really? was released. Yes! Do you have some certain tips you can use when you're being um, accosted by guests of the rent fair? Let's say, kicked or thrown at or called bad. Yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, First of all, uh, pretend that uh, you're under some sort of wizard spell and they're speaking some crazy language. Uh, yes, uh-huh. Uh, and run, run, run away. Uh, attempt to direct their uh, ire towards someone wearing armor uh, who can take that sort of crap. Yes? Did you know that the cast of Castle is going to be at Comic-Con? That's kind of bullshit, right? Uh, is castle is not actually set in the Renaissance Fair. It's not actually set at a castle. It's not That's fantasy merely at all, the character's though. name. No. Why are they there? Oh, oh, you're saying that? Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I think 
think people should protest that and come to the rim fair instead. Yes, uh, we are so actually uh, being protested by a uh, church today. So that's, that should be oh, a church. Well. Uh, church. Uh, there are, yes. Woke religion. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. I know it sounds have, like uh, the Lutherans to me. They have Shut giant up. crosses, so I assume some branch of Jews. Christianity. Uh, no. So, no, no, Jews are not, not Jews. No, 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 Jews. no, they, no. Don't, they don't. Alex likes you. It's too hot. Okay. Right. Uh, Mr. Travis, do you have anything to say from uh, Multicorp? Uh, uh, well, I just want to encourage you all to um, remember push those sales, right? Turkey legs, wine, hair braiding, uh, anything you can do. Uh, it's important, you know, I mean, the revenue pays your salaries, right? Of course, so, yes. Uh, it's oh. important that we have. Are we no longer allowed to sell sex? Uh, that is true. I did make that clear on day one. Uh, there Didn't is no hear selling. it. Yeah, yes, we are, we are still Sorry. on probation with the sheriff's department. Uh, if things become too body, uh, they're going to shut us down for good. So right. be suggestive, but not perfect. Then she should oh, come you. now. Oh, hey, Randy. How are you doing? Yeah. Excuse me. Oh, no, no. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Well, that was realistic. I am so proud. Good. You should oh. run away if that happens. Right, I forgot. Right. Um, uh, some of the turkey legs are unfortunately tainted, and the possums are back. Great. So watch your backs, everybody. Have a great day. Huzzah! Yeah. As some of you may have guessed, that was a time you could applaud if you decided to. <laughs> oh, just, if they deserve it, do it. If they don't, we're not going to get mad. It's our fault in that case. Have another drink. Now, across the Renaissance Fair, as you may have seen last week if you were here with us, young Margaret Bestgams and Davide Davileo had started to find love. But unfortunately, Margaret Bestcams is 17, whereas Davide Davileo has revealed that he's not a man in his late 40s, but instead a 19-year-old dude who's just a pain in the ass.
and her underage bosoms he did totally cup and fondle, and she didn't notice his excitement for tightly pressed against her buttocks was he. Ah. Yes, we paint that picture. Good. Aye. Aye. <laughs> But across the fair, near the braiding booth, Kathy Jean Bone is distraught over the loss of the fate of her son when Randy Travis comes and attempts to comfort her while still telling her about the changes that are going to be going on corporately with her booth and liability issues. Congratulations to the new queen! All right. <laughs> no! 
Aye, what did we learn from that scene? That many white trash people think deaf people are retarded. <laughs> and also that some corporate shills, if you just say things enough to them, will eventually believe what you're saying. It's an important life lesson. Speaking of important life lessons, far across the fair, near the jousting area, a Duke <laughs> Dragonheart is being approached very stealthily by someone who used to work at the fair. Good people of Little Valley Ren Fair, I am truly vexed. Truly vexed by a problem. What does only... vexed mean? What does vexed mean? Well, I'm glad you asked. You see, it turns out that the Black Knight. <laughs> you see, the Black Knight turns out is my son. And yet, he forsakes me. Yes, yes, he does forsake me. Do you guys know where the reenactment is? <laughs> Ah, uh, my fair maiden, I believe that you have the wrong uh, sector of the, this fine jousting field. Perhaps you should go anon to the other sector. Cool. I like that. Whatever. <laughs> See you. So, as I was saying, psst. Good sir. What? The real villain of the fair is one Randy Travis. He fired me because I found out too much. It's an awfully high voice you have there, Sir Knight. Yes, I am but a knight. That's all you need to know. That's all you need to know. <laughs> is nursing his demolished groin when the Black Knight stumbles across him and is tempted to do some more demolishing. Can Wart talk fast enough to protect his one remaining testicle? Let's find out! Saw Davide Davin Leho is being pulled into the web that the sweet, underage Megan Bestgams is weaving. But if he's going to woo a girl who believes in fairies, he's going to need some fairy advice. And who best to go to than a wizard? <laughs> a wizard. Point. What wouldst thou have of me? My point. 
Lord, I find myself torn between the law and passion. Oh, yes. For passion says, go with, go with and seek and conquer. But the law says, nay, statutory rape. <laughs> I say, what can I do, my lord? Well. Is there a potion that I shall take? In the wizarding world, we have an incantation which can often solve this situation. Do tell. You'd merely raise your wand like this and proclaim, Masturbate us! <laughs> oh. This sounds like it would make an excellent song! <laughs> <laughs> something from our little song because I think it's good advice for everyone. But meanwhile, Duke Dragonheart has been told that Randy Travis is really what's wrong with the fair. So he follows him surreptitiously through the fair as Randy Travis interacts with several people until he discovers a disturbing truth. Your real hat! <laughs> <laughs> it is my 
real hair and it's fantastic, isn't it? You do have nice hair. Mm, it's nice. Thank you very much. All right, so you know my secret. <laughs> oh, I get it! This is the show! Oh, it's you! The show, show! I fired you! And I told you not to come back here! Is this... Is this how you found out? Ooh, it's how we found out. Did you out. tell him? You're planning on selling the fair. If I have to. I know all about it. Oh, oh. really? What is it you think you know, little boy? Oh, that's a boy? I thought it was a girl. Me too! This is a good show. He's yeah, formerly a girl. He played a girl, and now he's a boy oh. trying to be a man. Oh, <laughs> I didn't have any other Renaissance guard. I had a lot of people confused for a while. <laughs> now you're all caught up. Mr. Travis, you kicked me out of this fair. You kicked me out of the one thing I loved. And I kicked you out I mean, because you broke character and you were told, don't you break character. You kicked me out because I knew too much, but I'm back. And you can't kick me out of this goddamn fair, Mr. Travis. <laughs> All right. Shit. All right, so maybe you're right. Maybe this whole thing is about making money. Maybe that's what Multicorp is supposed to do. Oh, big surprise! A big Multicorp national corporation wants to make money. I mean, is that really such a reveal for you? No, but it's wrong. It's absolutely wrong! It should be about the heart! It should be Smiles. about the heart! Not if Smiles. it keeps the fair open! No! Not if no. it keeps you... Well, you don't have a job. Sir, no. Renaissance fairs are about true reenactment, and the heart, and the, the good people that come to see oh, us! please! Oh what are you doing?! What are you doing?! Let it go! This is wrong! Did the kid dressed as Juliet just kill the owner of the entire fair? Maybe. But we have much smaller fish to fry. Across the fair, poor Ward is nursing what's left of his man parts, confused about his sexuality, when Megan <laughs> Bescax comes along to see what's the matter, and he finds himself tempted back to heterosexuality by both a young girl and an older woman. Guess I didn't need him anyways, because I'm gay now. If anybody sees any of my possums, just make sure they get back to my tent. It's behind me, booth 14. They could be ferocious, just don't step on them. Just kind of distract them with one person up and just grab them right up. Right. Hello. I've lost my contact. Well, uh, I guess I can help you find one. Could you? Yes, I could. Oh, wow, look at those. <laughs> I don't know if you heard, but I'm gay. <laughs> yep, flaming. Flaming like a. Good for you! What? Oh, I can get naked in front of you! Oh, Yay! That's... And we can go shopping together! <laughs> no, yes! Naked in front of you! You're Yay! Enjoy that right now. Okay! Oh, honey, have you seen my son? Last time I saw him, he was Dang. swinging a big old crudgel at my nuts. Yeah, that sounds like him, but could you tell me the general area that was happening? Uh, well, it was right here, and then he ran off. Oh, nuts. I mean, not, you know, no. like rats. It's all yeah. right. Like possums. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I interrupt something? Honey, you're rocking up the road. He's wrong gay! Today. I'm gay, I think, though. <laughs> what? Well, I just saw the bosoms, and I'm just getting kind of frisky again. Wait, no, 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 no. You're either gay or you're with me. Well, There's I'm, no two ways about it. Well, I'm gay. <laughs> How could you possibly be gay when there's these two really large breasts I, with glitter on them. I like men, I like men. You like oh. glitter, you like glitter. Get like off your nose. Like a, Honey, like you're like just, a fish. No, no, you just like things. No, 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 Remember that? Yeah, you did show that was some fun. tricks there. That's she has some good tricks. She just doesn't have shiny clothes Couldn't even read about. Yeah. Well, if you're not gay and you're heterosexual, you could go to more football games and crawl up my bosoms! My bosoms! I don't like football, but I do like bosoms. Yes, bosoms! <laughs> now, this is getting pretty fun. Ward, you know I have bosoms and I'll let you not watch football and touch gay guys. But you have like 16 kids. 
are dragging the body of Randy Travis, which may or may not be dead. When they are discovered by the Black Knight, will he expose them or will the Duke be able to enlist him in their conspiracy? Trailer trash life. We'll live in an actual house. 
And instead of a trailer. trailer. One without wheels. Think about it, Mom. All right. I think we can work something out. All right. Let's get some shovels. You understand, everything you've seen here never happened. No, no, I'm, I'm blind. Take care of it. Understood. Honey, I'm so glad to be working with you again. I love you, Mom. I love you too, honey. What? The Black Knight is involved with Randy Travis and they're going to sell the fair and split the money with Kathy Jean Bone after knocking the Duke, Juliet, and Domini Davileo on the head? Are they dead? What's this wart humping Megan Vasquez? We'll find out next week in another fair! Join us next week for the final episode of